Well, we know the Canadian Bass Championship is one of the biggest events of the year in Fort Francis, but how about some details on just how big it is? We have the perfect person to tell us about that. Tannis Drysdale joins us from Fort Francis Economic Development. Thanks for joining us, Tannis. First of all, how big is this tournament actually? How big is it? Would you call it the biggest event of the year in Fort Francis or just one of the biggest? Yeah, for sure. It's the biggest uh, uh, tourism related event in Fort Francis. Uh, it celebrates our community's uh, location on Rainy Lake and uh, the enormous opportunities to catch some of the best bass in North America on the lake. So it attracts anglers from right across North America, fans from across uh, northwestern Ontario and Manitoba to come and see the event over the days that uh, it uh, is on here down at the Sorting Gap Marina. What is the economic impact on the town from an event like this going over four days and like you said many out-of-towners coming in? So we've done economic impact analysis uh, looking at uh, the folks coming in from out of town from the anglers themselves and it runs into the millions of dollars. Uh, it, it's an entirely volunteer effort uh, so we are very fortunate in the town of Fort Francis uh, to have the sponsorship and the volunteers that are willing to put on this event every year. So for those out-of-towners who are maybe coming into Fort Francis for the first time for the tournament. Where would you tell them to go maybe when they're away from the lake and they're looking for something to do for the rest of the day? What are some things, what are some things they can do in Fort Francis? Mm -hmm. So uh, here at the tournament site, I guess uh, for many tourists right now, uh, we have a number of Pokemon stops, <laughs> so we always recommend that. Uh, our Tourist Information Bureau right on the border uh, features a full-size real uh, moose and we're happy to have uh, our staff take a picture uh, or you can take a moose selfie if you'd like. We have a museum on Scott Street that's celebrates uh, the history of this area, uh, the trading period right up until and including uh, the forestry period. It's quite fascinating. Uh, downtown's wonderful and then we have lakefront uh, patios that uh, are a great way to spend your evening. I have to ask you about the new Pokemon Go phenomenon. Uh, is this a good thing for you guys because it's breaking out people to different check stops I guess you could call them. What do you what do you think of this? It's only a few days few weeks in. What do you think of the new Pokemon Go fact? So I think it's fabulous. Yeah. Um, our historic sites in Fort Francis have been made uh, Pokemon Go stops and uh, we're seeing all sorts of activity in the town. Americans coming over uh, to catch some Canadian Pokemon. So yeah, it's going to be good for us yeah. and uh, it's good to see everyone out and being active again. You may have mentioned it already. Are there any hidden gems in Fort Francis that people come here and they would be surprised by, whether it's a restaurant or any sort of business, any sort of location, any hidden gems that you guys are really proud of? Yeah, I would say every every trip to Fort Francis should include a uh, trip across the causeway. Uh, it's a spectacular, stunning view of Rainy Lake. Uh, don't miss out on that because you're heading in the other direction. Take an extra five minutes and drive uh, past the causeway. Uh, the restaurants are fabulous and we've got a bunch of new ones now on Scott Street. Uh, as tourism is growing, uh, the appetite, so to speak, uh, is changing in the community and I think that there's lots of opportunity to have a great evening here on your way out uh, to a good fishing day. And finally, Tannis, what do you hear from out-of-towners who maybe have come here for the first time? What do you hear in terms of feedback from them on their first experience in Fort Francis? Yeah, so folks talk lots about this waterfront park that we have. We have a park that extends the entire length of the community uh, that has uh, playgrounds for children, uh, places to stop for ice cream, and then of course access to Rainy Lake and the great fishery, or just a, a great day of skiing or fun on the lake. Uh, that's the experience that we want to share with tourists every year and uh, we're hopeful that uh, folks will visit and enjoy it with us. Okay, thanks so much for this, Tannis Drysdale. We will be right back after this with more Go Fish on Shaw TV.